Hi friends, welcome to Zio Entire. This is again time to share one more video with you. In this video, I am going to share one more important aspect in the field of this petrology that is the cometic rock. In this video, I am going to tell you what is what type of texture present in the cometic rock, what is the geochemistry of this cometic rock. What are the different minerals which are present, which are embedded in this cometite rock? How these cometites are formed? What are the tectonic regions where we can find out this cometite rock? And some of the uh, famous examples in the world where we can find out this cometite rock. I am giving the all the answers, all the answers to these questions in this video. So Cometite, it is very very unique rock. So, Wiljan and Wiljan, first time in the world, they recognize this rock. So, this rock is uh, only example of extrusive ultramafic igneous magma. They are essentially consist of olivine and clinopyroxene. But, orthopyroxene and chromite are other uh, important minerals are also present in this uh, cometite rock. Plasioclase is the accessory mineral, accessory to a subordinate mineral which is present in the cometite. So most of the cometites are rich sources of chromite and platinum group of elements that is the PGE mineralization. In cometite rock, there is a one unique texture is present. Texture is nothing but the mutual arrangement of the grains among themselves that is the texture. So when we see this rock, that is the cometite. There is a specific texture. The name of that specific texture is the spinifex texture. This cometite rock characteristically show linear growth of olivine and clinopyroxene. Uh, that is a mimicking variety of grass from Australia named spinifex. The growth of the olivine and CPX that is the clinopyroxene is due to super cooling of very high temperature ultramafic magma and that's why there is a such type of texture we can find out on the uh, particular uh, in the particular cometite rock you can see my side figure there is a spinifex texture we can find out we can see in this particular uh, photograph or side diagram so now we will see the classification of this uh, particular cometites. So, Genses, this is one of the uh, geochemists. Uh, on the basis of, uh, now we will see the classification of this cometite. So, first time Genses has classified cometites into four varieties based upon their chemistry, that is the MGO, FUO, AL2O contains. So these are the major elements. On the basis of these major elements, that is the MgO, FuO, and Al2O3 contents, these uh, cometites are classified into four types. So first one is the picritic cometite. Second one is the cometite. Third one is the basaltic cometite. And fourth one is the cometitic basalt. So these are the four types of the uh, cometite, which is based on the their chemistry that is the Mg, F, MgO, FuO and Al2O3 content. So now we will see the geochemistry of this particular uh, cometite rock. The cometite is composed of major elements, trace elements, rare earth elements and other volatiles also. Now we will see uh, one by one major elements. Cometites are characterized by a specific chemistry. So that is the MgO is greater than FuO. And CO Al2 3 ratio is always greater than 1 and SiO2 is less than 46%. This is the uh, specific uh, major elements which are present in the uh, uh, cometite. What are the trace elements? So, cometite is composed of again different types of trace elements. So, these trace elements are nickel, chromium, and cobalt are the critical trace elements which are present in this cometite 
all the three are very high and are controlled by MgO content of the rock. So incompatible elements are very low in chromatite. Compatible elements are very high in the chromatite, whereas incompatible, uh, incompatible elements are very low in the tray, uh, particular this chromatite rock. Now, rare earth elements we can say that are EE. The rare earth elements that is the are EE, although most of the chromatites are showing LREE, that is the depleted pattern. Some of them exhibit flat to LRE enriched RE pattern. Since chromatites are formed by moderate to high degrees of melting of the mantle, their RE pattern indicates sources of composition. So on the basis of this RE uh, pattern, we can uh, conclude that we can identify what is the source composition of this particular chromatite rock. Now we will see the next aspect that is the petrogenesis, how the rock is formed. What is the processes behind the formation of this chromatite rock? So these chromatites are males derived mantle with very high geothermal gradient. So this rock is formed in the Archean period. And during that period, the geothermal gradient of the earth was very high. The chemistry of chromatite indicates their derivation from an ultra depleted mantle. For the LRE enriched chromatite, these depleted sources might have enriched by a small increment melts originated by mantle degassing. Very high temperature of extrusion and high viscosity suggests that the continental crust was rather thin during the formation of the chromatites. In the earlier Archean period, the thickness of the earth crust was very thin and geothermal gradient was very high. So this is the condition which is very very important for the formation of this chromatite rock. So this could be the reason for restriction of chromatites to the Archean times. Though Mesozoic chromatites are reported but most of the chromatites are formed in the Archean period. After that these chromatites are not formed on the earth surface. So now we will see the what are the tectonic regimes. What are the tectonic regions where we can find out the chromatite rock? When we see the chromatites, we can find out on the oceanic and continental rifting and plumes where we can find out the chromatite rock. Now we will see the examples, worldwide famous examples for the chromatite. All the older greenstone belts of the Archean, so which shows presence of this chromatite in India, Kola. Hatti, Ramgiri, Simoga greenstone bales uh, of India are famous for the chromatite uh, rock. So I hope this video will be uh, useful to you, beneficial to you. So if you like my video, share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Geo Entire All About the Earth.